people say, hey, Alex, don't you care about this election or that or this? No, I care about World War III happening or financial collapse. And I care about the poison water with the fluoride, the GMOs, the aspartame, the mercury, the, all of this stuff. And Mike Adams, the health ranger, has put together huge breaking news. It's at Infowars.com and NaturalNews.com. It's the top story linked in Reddit, Infowars.com right now. New GMO study, rats fed lifetime of GM corn grow tumors. 70% of females die early. This in big new studies. Now, there's been a lot of other studies as well showing within three generations near total sterility, 99%. Hair growing on the tongues of the rats, the guinea pigs. But, but this is a new big one. You want to know what the New World Order stands for? It's not just about grabbing power. They're poisoning everybody. They're eugenicists. And joining us is Mike Adams. I know he's very busy today. He's getting ready to launch a lot of new stuff, so he's, he's not been able to come on a lot lately. He will be on the show Monday, by the way, with some more breaking news. But Mike, uh, my friend, uh, break down this huge report with photos uh, and we'll, we'll be showing some of those to PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. Radio listeners, just go to naturalnews.com or infowars.com and see it for yourself. Uh, but uh, Mike, break down what we're facing here. Yeah, the photos are shocking, Alex. And the study found horrifying tumors growing at a 200 to 300 percent increased rate in these rats that were fed a lifetime of genetically modified corn. This is Monsanto's variety of GM corn that they fed these rats. You know, you, you've been covering today the bullets, uh, the DHS bullets, 1.6 billion rounds of bullets. That's a huge story. The GMO story is related to that in the sense that food is now a weapon. Yeah, Alex. these are soft kill bullets so they can yes. kill us and then we creep back 10 years later dying and they suck all our savings out of us at a Rockefeller death camp known as a hospital. Yeah, if, hey, if they don't get you with the sniper rounds of the uh, ballistic 308 bullets that they're buying, they'll get you with the food. That's what this is all about. Now, here are some of the big, the big findings. 70% uh, of females suffered uh, premature death, and up to 50% of males suffered premature death. Uh, severe organ damage in those who ate this for a lifetime. We're talking liver damage, kidney damage, damage throughout the, the entire body system, all of biology uh, damaged by this. Uh, we're talking a massive increase in large tumors. Tumors so large, Alex, that if, I don't know if your producers can show some of the pictures on screen, they are horrifying. It shows tumors so large that some of these rats had to drag the tumors across the floor as they were trying to crawl. They're, they're so large. And by the way, everybody I know has young family dying, brain tumors, breast cancer. I mean, they're, they're murdering us in a hardcore kill op. Absolutely. And remember, the USDA and the FDA, they don't require long-term studies. Most of the studies that have been done out there have just been 90 days. This is the first study, and this is why this is breaking news, just hours off the press. It's the first study to study a lifetime of GM consumption in, in the lifespan of a rat, which, of course, is, is relatively short compared to humans. But, but what it means is that those parents who are feeding their children GMOs today, they are cursing those children to a lifetime of massive tumors, massive suffering, massive premature But death. they get to slice them all up at the facility and have runs for the cure and everything, while the very system murdering them sucks even more money. And that very system, remember, the people who, who think they're part of that system, their children are going to die of these tumors, They love too. it, though. They, the, the people, they love that. That's yeah, a sacrament I, I to guess. them. It's insane, though. I mean, think about the regulators. They think they're getting away. Now, the average crazy. yuppie loves to doll their kid around town while they're dying of cancer to get attention. So that they'll, they'll probably try to give them cancer. This is very exciting for them. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, no, I mean, I mean all the fake environmentalists and transhumanists who say there's too many of us, again, double up for your kids. You know, death is good. Go ahead. Hey, hey, it's no coincidence why the globalists are supporting the two things that are killing us all off, Alex. Uh, that's vaccines and GMOs. And, and now this study, it's published in the Food and Chemical Toxicology Journal, uh, this study by French researchers. Very prestigious. It, it, well, it is. And, and it's the first study to look at the lifetime of what happens. The point is... I think that GMOs are the next thalidomide. Thalidomide. Remember that drug that they gave to pregnant women? Well, it's going to be a lot worse than thalidomide, but yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but anyway, that's the basics of the story. I know your time is tight today. No, no, I'm keep gonna going, keep this. going. I just get so angry. Go back to thalidomide. Guys, show the thalidomide children with their little arms and legs being tiny. Show well, people, but that only hurt millions. This is yeah. attacking billions.
Absolutely. Remember, thalidomide was, was declared totally safe by the FDA. The doctors prescribed it. They said, oh, it's completely safe. There are no side effects. Go ahead and take the drug. And then the children were born with no arms and, and no legs and all these horrifying birth defects. And the company that made thalidomide, the drug company, didn't apologize for 50 years. And, and even when they did apologize, they said it took us 50 years because we were in a state of shock. Really? A sh state of shock for 50 years? Well, how much shock are we going to be in when billions of us start having these tumors from eating GMOs right now? That's going to be probably the greatest uh, scientific disaster in the history of human civilization. It's all done in the name of science, but it's junk science. It's corporate science. You know, it's the science of death. It's the scientific dictatorship that you often refer to. And these scientists are getting paid to push this stuff onto people, and it's, it's, it's poisoning the people. There's no question about it. Uh, we're going to put some of the thalidomide, I'm always having trouble pronouncing that, thalidomide children up on screen for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. But anybody can uh, Google uh, the images uh, and uh, look at it for yourself. Well, and here's some of the rats. Here's some of the images of the rats with their massive tumors, or you probably have better shots there. But, I mean, the tumors are so large on these rats that they, they can barely move around. They can barely breathe. The, some of them, you know, that's why they die early. They die from the tumor taking over. We are looking at a massive, just a generation of, of, of human beings who are going to be, I, I think, they're going to end up in the same situation as these rats. Now, it's a boon to the breast cancer industry. The breast cancer industry loves GMOs because they get to diagnose more women, treat more women, chemotherapy more women, irradiate more women. That's money for them. That's their profit. Torture there. more women, bury more women, yep. bury more mothers, bury more daughters. It's just wonderful. Well, that's, that's the story, Alex. We're being soft killed. The proof is now in the journals that anybody who eats GMOs at this point is committing suicide, basically. So people look for organic corn, especially. If you eat corn, make sure it is organic. I'll be covering this in more detail on Monday when I'm uh, guest hosting the show. We're going to go into protecting yourself from radiation, protecting yourself from GMOs. And also, Alex, I have some breaking news about protecting yourself from MSG. That's something that no one has, has really been able to talk about yet. We'll have that on your show, Breaking on InfoWars, on Monday. Well, Mike, thank you so much for breaking this down. But uh, I want to come back and spend five more minutes while we've got you because this is so important. Continue with what this study shows. Because I've seen earlier studies. You can just type in, you know, studies uh, show organ failure, uh, sterilization, or infertility from GMOs. I and mean, we've seen other studies I guess this one's important because it went for so long? Yes, because it's the first study to really look at the lifetime effects of GM consumption. Now, they fed the rats genetically modified corn from Monsanto and a trace level of the Roundup pesticide levels that are legally allowable in the U.S. water supply. So that's what the rats were fed, and that's what they drank. And with that, the, the different pictures here show uh, rats with just the GMO, showing tumors, rats with the, uh, the GMO plus the Roundup, these tumors here in the middle, and then here on this side is just the Roundup in the water. So uh, no matter which way you slice it, uh, cancer tumors were large in, in these rats, and they were much larger compared to the control group. So we know this is good science. The scientists have posted a video on YouTube about this. Uh, I don't have the title for that, but another You have a link in your story. Here's another one from yeah. uh, a few years ago. Monsanto's GMO corn linked to organ failure study reveals. We'll, we'll throw that up on screen real quick for people. Just type in GMO linked to organ failure. You'll get literally thousands of articles. And Mike, you privately told me about some stuff. Uh, the establishment's getting ready to try to strike back against those of us trying to expose their uh, operation. Alex Jones here with a message that could revolutionize health in this country. Going back about a year and a half ago, I began to learn about the incredible health effects of Longevity products. Aaron Dykes lost 92 pounds. We're going to show you some before and afters. Aaron, break down what happened, your story. I've worked really hard with diet and exercise to try to lose weight, but I just didn't get the results. It just didn't happen. Then I saw what you were doing with InfoWarsTeam.com.
I wasn't even trying to lose weight, but I got it because I wanted to feel better energy. I wanted that nutrition. Didn't even understand how that could kickstart my own weight loss goals, but the products did that for me. I found myself suddenly losing weight, more energetic, wanting to exercise, wanting to eat the right foods. And they don't even advertise it as weight loss. I want to challenge our radio listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com, sign up as a distributor, and get wholesale pricing discounts at InfoWarsTeam.com. There was another big mainline scientific study out last week where scientists identified this new big wheat that, uh, that's being rolled out, this GMO, that it has the same um, genes in it uh, that basically program organ operations and that they're predicting it's going to cause organ failure. None of this is by accident. People need to understand Monsanto with this dioxin, Agent Orange, all of it. That was really a chemical weapon. They were really mi mixing a neurotoxin with the Agent Orange. It was really a chemical weapon against the Viet Cong, but also soft killing our own troops. That's all been declassified. I've had generals on to, to uh, break that down. So you need to understand, we're dead already. Uh, they've only got eight major GMO crops we've been eating for about 15 years. It's already devastating us. Uh, they're now coming out with over 100 GMO crops. Everything's going to be basically GMO you eat. So you won't be able to escape it. And they're making sure you don't label things, you know, making sure that uh, th that doesn't happen. And they're spraying aluminum on us and, and, and fluoride in the water, uh, a uh, acid form of it, so it's much worse. You need some calcium fluoride, different animal. They try to confuse that. Uh, Mike Adams, I mean, actually, John Bown out there got angry during the break. He has a young, sweet daughter who I've met, uh, close to, uh, to the age of one of my young daughters. And he said, well, that's it. I mean, we're, you know, we're all going to have giant tumors in 10 years. We'll probably won't have to wait. I mean, I mean, I know so many young people dying all around me. It's just death, death, death. It's so much fun. And, and we have these murdering eugenicists, and, and the uh, GMO companies are on record that their cafeteria is not serving GMO, and it's all funny to them. It's all funny, and, I mean, where does it end? I mean, I guess this is just it. They're soft-killing us. The Nazis ran you into pits and shot you in the back of the head. Uh, these guys just uh, shoot you with the food, and if you get a little too uppity, they got 1.6 billion bullets to actually do it. But I, I believe, Alex, there is a way to have a nutritional shield against the toxic tumor building effects of GMOs. And this is why it's, it's so important that you and InfoWars continue to teach people about micronutrients, the trace minerals that are so important. I believe, even though this hasn't yet been borne out in the studies, but I believe it will before long, that if you eat superfoods and if you eat the trace minerals and if you get your nutrition in a supplemental form because most of the foods are depleted, then you can actually prevent a very large portion of, of, the, of your normal cancer tumor risk that might have been enhanced well, by the Well, that's admitted with antioxidants and stuff. I mean, it's admitted if you yes. have the, you know. But, the, but I, I think that the, most of the people who are going to die from GMO tumors, let's say, are people who have poor nutrition, who, who are nu nutritionally depleted every single day. They're low in vitamin D, they're low in magnesium, they're low in selenium, especially or selenium is crucial for preventing cancer, they're low in zinc, and so on. All of these things, you can get those things in a supplement form from high-quality supplements or superfoods or certain wild-crafted foods, organic foods have higher nutrition and so on. But if you eat the standard processed diet, you're dead. You know, the, you're yeah, dead. sure. You're, if, you're if, if you're, you're eating the standard McDonald's, you know, stuff fried literally in silicone, this stuff will get you. You'll die yeah. when you're 50 instead of, you know, we, we would live to 100, but we die at 90 because we fought back against the soft kill. Clearly, uh, there are actually studies out there that show that, you know, dealing with the superfoods, but expanding on this, Mike. How do the elites think they're going to get away with this when the, the White House science czar has written in four different books that they're jacking the food and water? I mean, the, well, the, the elites know that they have monopolized the debate over science and they just slap the word science behind everything that's killing you. And then they claim it's scientific and you can't argue with them. Now, I'm not against all science, by the no, way. No, Al Gore There's said pay him money. Uh, global warming's happening. It's scientific. Right. No one disagrees. Right. Well, 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 vaccines, they claim, are always scientific, even though they're really experimental. The fluoride in the water, they claim that's scientific, even though it's toxic uh, pesticide, insecticide chemicals. And then the GMOs, they claim that's scientific. Maybe if somebody beats your brains study. out with a baseball bat, it, the cops show up and you're like, you killed this guy. But it's scientific. I mean, I mean, hey, come on. Hey, sniper bullet ballistics are also scientific, Alex. <laughs> you understand how dark it is, how far down the line we are? How late it is. The only reason 
the global transhumanist eugenicist masters of death may win is because their evil is so massive and so over the top, people, average people can't deal with it. Mike Adams is our guest for five more minutes than the one the only Gerald Salente is joining us. Mike Adams has this huge breaking news at naturalnews.com. It's also mirrored red links at the top at infowars.com. New GMO study, rats fed, lifetime of GMO corn grew tumors. 70% of females died early. Now, the issue here is that I wanted to say finally is the UN openly through Codex Alimentarius is trying to ban vitamins and minerals over the counter. In South Korea, you can't get an aspirin without a prescription or vitamin A or vitamin E. They're doing everything they can. They're eugenicists. They say there's too many of us. All this that we've seen the last century, injecting little kids with syphilis this year, big pharma coming out, caught giving people MMR and the shots. All of that was just a test. I want to see if you agree with this. Now, as they set up their world government police state straitjacket, that's meant to just organize now as, you know, cancers start going up. You think 10,000 percent is good in kids? How about 50,000 percent? Hey, you know, one in 25,000 kids have autism. How about one in 58? I mean, they're really just testing, turning up the background noise, seeing how much they can get away with right now. That's why people like you, Mike, and the scientists that did this study are on the very cutting edge, the listeners of the show are, of saving humanity. Because this soft kill operation, this war, is raging around us, Mike. Well, and this is why it's so crucial that it, for those listening, if you want to save this republic, if you want to beat the globalists, you got to first stop the cancer tumors. you got to first take care of your health. I, I, I like to use the phrase nutrition for patriots. You know, a lot of the organics and, and this kind of thing started on in the progressive movement, but really it's the patriots who, who should be eating all organic, who should be eating the superfoods, who should be taking the nutritional supplements, because if you can't take care of your health, you're not going to be able to take care of your republic. It's a we weapon system. Healthy. It's a military weapon system of the globalists. You've got to stop letting them shoot you. A absolutely. That, that, that is it. And this is so crucial. You, look, it's also cognitive function. If you don't have good nutrition, your mind doesn't work right. I mean, it, it, studies just came out in the last couple of days about BPA altering hormones and, and, and altering uh, cognitive function. All by design. And all, absolutely. So you got to protect your brain. you got to protect your fertility. If you don't protect your DNA, Alex, you, your lineage has no future. And that's what the globalists want. They don't really care if they kill you, although they seem to be accelerating that. But what they really want to do is kill off your that's entire right. line of offspring. That's their goal. That's that's where Bill Gates comes in, and and his you know his money is funding these infertility technologies. They zap your scrotum with ultrasound, and you can't have babies for six months or twelve months. And they've got and rice coming out that does that. it. Uh, they've got it all, and they've got mosquitoes that deliver it. And they admit. Yep. You're absolutely right. They want uh, to, to, to destroy our seed. The globalists understand that's what, that's what the real power is. And they are openly saying they want to destroy our human essence, to quote General Ripper in, in Dr. Strangelove. They make a joke out of it, but they're telling you right there, we are just, I mean, already the sperm count's down almost 90%, 87%. Uh, the DNA is already damaged. I mean, th these people have committed a sin of, of, of a magnitude that's hard to imagine. Well, and, and look at what else attacks your DNA. The TSA's naked body scanners, the ionizing radiation, the, the cell CT phones. scans, everything. All of the radiation damages DNA, and then the food damages DNA, and then the pharmaceuticals damage DNA. The, the, the DNA damage from pharmaceuticals is, is just legendary. It's almost it's like the elite really are aliens from another planet come to destroy humanity. I mean, the elite we've got might as well be little demonic green men from Pluto. Hey, remember the movie Prometheus? What did they do? They built a bioweapon. They were going to send that to Earth to wipe out life in order to create new life. That was their excuse. Hey, I'm not saying that's real, but it's a metaphor for what's real. Oh, no, that's why that film's total Illuminati inside secrets. And you notice the brother of the guy, the guy involved in making it, just jumped off a bridge. All yeah. right, Mike Adams, thank you so much for spending time with us. Look forward to you for three hours Monday in right. studio, naturalnews.com to get the report. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.